change your cookie. And today, I'm going to make something very special in my yard. What's that, Ranger Cookie? And why are you not in your uniform? Well, those saying is, when you're working in the sun, you want to wear something white. It reflects the sun, and it's better for you. you you got less heat. And always wear a nice hat. Sometimes I wear a straw hat, and sometimes I wear the hat I'm wearing. But I was taught a long time ago to wear white and long sleeves while you're in a hot sun like this. That radiates the sun off of you and keeps you cool. But today I'm building two types of rocket stove in my yard. Why do you want to make a rocket star stove in your yard? Uh, during Hurricane Katrina, we were out. We were out of electric for almost three months. And we had to cook on a barbecue pit or some type of stove. Which was hell. But hey, maybe if I build a rocket stove and teach you guys how to make one or try to make one in some weird way, I see if I can make a rocket stove out of pure clay, mud, sand, and straw. I uh, didn't get the straw, damn it. <laughs> so I'm just going to make it out of two items without straw or wire hinge. So that's what, I'm missing one item out of my stuff I need to make this rocket stove. But the items you really need for this rocket stove is PPC pipe. Now the size doesn't matter, it depends on how you want to make your stove. Now, I'm going to make a small one for a test. So I got this. I'm going to show you how to set it all up. And I have got my ingredients. Here is my ingredients. Now, I'm making two types. One's going to be out of mud. One's going to be, I'm going to make three. Change my mind. I'm going to make three. One's going to be made out of red clay. That one's going to make out of white clay, or sandy clay, and sand. I was going to get some straw, but I changed my mind and would try it without the straw. You need a bucket of sand, a bucket of water, and some type of ladle. You need your clay that you want to use. So I got this white sand, uh, white clay, and I got the red clay. Then I got a bucket to stir it in. I got sand, clay, clay, and a bucket of water. And a bucket to mix it in. So let's begin. First, I searched my property, and I wanted to just do I did a short survey, and I'm like, I want to make it right here. I could make it over there in my wooded area, but I wanted it away from the woods. Plus, this is only a, a pack, so, so I'm making two. So I'm going to make a room for two. There we go. Now... I want to make a small foundation. This is a piece of cardboard. Something flat. So I got this old box from work. And I'm going to open it up. And this is be kind of like my foundation. You can use brick. But in this test, I want it all degradable. I want it to rot. I want it to put no bricks in it. I want it to be a mud base with a cardboard foundation so it can rock. I know uh, cardboard underneath probably this clay is not going to rot but it's a test and just in case I don't want to use it no more I can destroy it with no problem with the bricks in the middle. So I'm building this for two types of reasons. One reason is 
during the hurricane season, we uh, were out of lights. We didn't. We had the cook on a barbecue pit. The food tastes like shit because it's the, the the smoke and the burnt. So, but if you build a rocket stove and you build it right, you use less fuel, and your pot won't be all burnt and singed. I use good pots to cook because that's all I had, and that wasn't into the camp and the survival. Because me and Andrew wasn't into it at that time, around 2004, we wasn't into the camp and stuff until 2008. All right, let's get back to the job. Stop yakking. Get to work, Ranger. All right, so there's my ingredients. Let's take a look. Like I said, I got a bucket of sand, a bucket of water, bucket of mixed clay and red clay, and a mixing bowl. Now, oh, I forgot another thing. You, another thing you need in ingredients is vegetable oil. These are like a dollar at the dollar store, so it's pfft, cheap. Now, I should have cut this tree head of Tom, but uh, I want to see what happens. Now what you want to do, see I need another pipe to go on top for the hole on top. So I have to improvise. What you want to do is take your oil, place it where the clay is going to be. Just grease it up. Now, let's get started with the mixing. All right, you want a little sand? I want to do a, uh, three types. I'm gonna do a mud one, and I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a um, I should put straw in here. That's gonna be my downfall. No straw. It's gonna be my downfall. And you wanna keep mixing your mud. You should take all the uh, big heavy uh, uh, rocks out of this thing before I begin, but. I don't have all the tools and equipment to do so. It's like making cement. Hey, can you see me? Uh -huh. There you go. Now you can see me. It's like making um, cement, kind of. But I'm using all natural items. And I was gonna make this for Donnie, but uh, I talked to Donnie. I wanted to make this at his uh, base, but after he thought about it, he declined. That's his camping area. I can't say, yeah, you got to have one. But he said, I love you to do it, but I really didn't, I want to do something else. I said, fine, you know, it's your camping area. Remember, I, I asked you if you want to, uh, build something out there. He said, well, yeah, I don't really want to. So that was his decision that I'm, I'm happy, you know. All right, what you want to do is make a, uh, like a cement pa uh, paste, like a ball. And come over here. Come over here and watch. That's what you're here for. And you want to take and slap it on your pipe.
Now you don't want to get too much of a hurry. I know you can hear me. You want to mix it slowly, get the same consistency. Enough sand, enough water. Mix it. show you the whole process I'm just showing you basics come up some I'm gonna show you the basic baskets baskets of how to make this and I'll show you this the finished product at the end so uh, stay tuned and uh, I'm gonna edit some of this I can build a small rocket stove just to see what it looked like. Let's see how it comes out. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie, and I see you in a few seconds after I build all into it. I'm gonna put. I, I got another pipe. I'm gonna go grab for the backboard, and I'm gonna cover it all up. All right, see you in a few. All right, I'm back. This is kind of like my finished product. So what I want to do is just take a bucket of water and try to smooth out the uh, the clay. I bumped this big uh, uh, whatever this freaking board is, three by ten, ten by eighty, whatever. I use it as a ref uh, as a pot thing. Now I can make this bigger, but this is supposed to be a trowel with no straw. Let's see how long it lasts. And all that I'm doing is smoothing out the clay to make it uniform. I'm gonna make the, la the other one later. I just want to make this one and show you the, the rocket stove, how to make it out of pure clay. This is like a, a brown clay, and I got the red clay behind me. I might top it off with some red clay. You get that. Yeah, I gotta mix it. <laughs> All right, I got like a little measuring cup. Hope you can see that. It's gonna be three parts clay. One part water, two parts sand, and maybe a little bit more water. Depends on how it comes out. I might have to add more clay. Like I said, it depends on how it comes out. I think this red clay is more stirable in the rain. So I'm going to probably just base it over a little red clay.
Now, I'm going to show you how to make a rocket stove with bricks. But right now, I'm going to do a trial, which I'm doing now. Yeah, it's good to get the rocks out your uh, clay. It's so lumpy. I don't know if I can smooth this out. Well, let's see what happens. All right. And now my rocket stove is good for many things. It's good, it, you don't burn a lot of fuel when you're cooking. Plus, during the hurricane season, when you have no lights or anytime you have no lights and you need to cook food, hey, you got a rocket stove to cook that food that you desperately need to feed your family. Now remember, you can bring a bucket of clay and sand anywhere. You can bring this to your camp. You can um, go anywhere with a bucket of sand and clay and water. As long as you can muster it in. Alright, this is the finished touch, and this video is going to be over with. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing. I hope you enjoy the homemade rocket stove made out of clay. I know I should use some straw, but I was doing a test. Let's see how well this thing holds up in the weather. Tune in to next video when this thing is dry. and see how well we can cook on it. See, I'm gonna add texture to it. Now, I can put lines in if I want, or do whatever I like to do, give it our textured look. But there we go. Let me move the camera around so you can see that. All right, that's the uh, homemade rocket stove with no bricks, no straw, because I'm doing a test. That's what I like to do. I like to do tests and see how well things hold up. A rocket stove is good to have. Like I said, you use less fuel when you're cooking. Um, good for when a hurricane strikes. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next video.